What is going? Let me turn off the AC here. Oh, I went the wrong way. What's going on, guys? It is. I don't even know what day on the bulk it is anymore. I've been really busy at work, so let's see. 28 would be, so what's 27 plus seven is 34. So it should be like day 31, 32 tomorrow, or 32. Let's see, I can't math right now, but it's active rest day, Saturday, and we went to the gym we did a light lifting sessions. I went to a 24 hour and did shoulders and arms. I didn't feel like doing cardio today. I did very light workout, had some pre-workout in the car and it was a good lifting session. Um, worked on my posing again, which obviously was awful, but it was good to practice. Now it's time to get some food in me i was hungry in between like sets on the very end tail end of it i had like my pre-workout carbs and i don't know i just started getting super hungry i don't know if that's because my metabolism is firing or i'm just fat but um i'm just kidding guys but yeah go go home post workout get some creatine in the veins and Ooh, this guy's breaking really hard. And then we'll make some breakfast and then we'll probably do some editing. Uh, I'm gonna be working on the new recipe today. I'm gonna be also film, like fin finishing up last week's recipe to post this coming up next week. And then I'm gonna be filming another recipe today for the following week. Um, Let's see. Yeah, so yesterday, I don't know if you guys can see me. Hopefully you guys can see me like I'm in the shot. So yesterday I went out for dinner. I had uh, German food, had some goulash with some cabbage, red cabbage, and then some potatoes. And it was like in this bowl kind of thing. And I think there was sour cream on top. I don't know, it was like some white substance on top. Uh, and I think it's sour cream. <clears throat> Block off the, the sun for you guys here. Actually, I can just do this instead of moving my head. Hopefully that helps, should help. Um, but yeah, I went out with a friend and we got dinner. Uh, I had a drink on the side and I kind of want to talk about that because I feel like a lot of people, I said this before in a previous video, but I think like a lot of people, they try to limit themselves in terms of like their diet, whether they're trying to lose weight or gain weight. And it's like, oh no, I can't go out and go out to dinner. Um, obviously, you know, going out to the bars and having a drink uh, and getting like plastered, you know, obviously that's not helping anyone in any forms, uh, in any, it's not helping any like purpose in terms of like your, your fitness journey. So I'm not gonna talk about that. I'm gonna be talking about going out to dinner and you know ru ruining your diet it doesn't really ruin your diet and people need to stop thinking about it like oh i messed up on my diet because i went out to dinner and then yeah we we had i uh, had like a whole thing went to the cheesecake factory and had the a whole thing of bread or I, I had a slice of cheesecake after dinner or i had like you know i didn't go home and like ate my eat my meal prep because i went out for like someone's birthday and i had cake and you know all this good stuff you know that's gonna like ha I've, I've talked about this before but it's like it's gonna happen and it's okay when it happens it's not going to mess you up if you're on your diet for the most part of the whole entire week. Now, you know, I, I said this in the previous video, but if you're having one cheat meal, one cheat day, let's see, like, let's say, or like, let's say two dinners on the weekend, right? Seven meals a day, sorry, seven days a week, three meals a day, that's 21 meals every week. And if you mess up on two, you mess up on three, you're still in the like, 80 to 90 percent hitting your diet so that's pretty good but if you are like wanting to be like oh mitigated even more i got you guys covered so i do this on my weight loss cutting journey if i know i'm gonna go out 
and I know that I'm gonna go out and get some burnt like this is like all the time in the summer but I'm gonna go out and go to like get some dinner you know have a beer and a nice warm summer night what I like to do is in the morning you know post-workout shakes whatever but like I like to eat high like almost all my protein for breakfast lunch and my pre-dinner uh, like snack and stuff like that so basically you know almost all protein and then just all vegetables and I keep the protein to a very lean source of protein egg whites chicken fish things like that because when you go out to eat you usually what restaurants serve you unless you go into like a steakhouse or like anything like that uh, it's not really high in protein um, what what they serve you is basically high in carbs high in fat and the reason why I say high in fat is because they cook with oils, they cook with uh, butter, all this kind of stuff because, you know, it tastes good and, uh, you know, they're not using like nonstick spray. Uh, but that's okay. So when, I, when I'm on a cut, what I like to do is in the morning, sample, right? Two scoops of protein, uh, breakfast, egg whites with some vegetables, maybe a little bit of cheese, low fat cheese, uh, lunch, vegetables all green vegetables like a medley vegetable medley or whatever frozen vegetables with chicken breast or some like fish that's low lower in fat like cod I like cod and then uh, I don't like tilapia I feel like tilapia is n not that great but I keep the carbs to a minimum and then right before uh, dinner or anything like that maybe like Greek yogurt with some like sweetener or like jello pudding mix boom and you know hit my hit like pretty much 80% of my protein goal because like I'm gonna have some sort of like protein uh, for dinner it's just not gonna be substantial so that's the way I like to do it if you guys think this is helpful and your guys's weight loss journey this is how you guys can approach it this is the way I approach it and I think this would help you if you're a person that likes to go out to dinners likes to go out on the weekends for um, for yeah for dinners for parties for drinks and stuff like that this is a way that can help mitigate any sort of quote-unquote damage that you've done over like the weekend or any like anything that's sorry any any damage you've done over the weekend or anything like damage that you've done towards your diet it's not really damage you guys got to stop thinking of it that way but in addition to all of that, there is gonna be bloating, right? Sometimes you will bloat the next day. Sometimes you will bloat and, you know, and, and gain five, seven pounds, depending on what you eat, depending on what you drink, right? Beer bloats you. Uh, high sodium, MSG, all that stuff, right? You're gonna, give you, you're gonna get bloated. Uh, the increase, if you're on a weight loss, journey and you have a high carb meal that you know that's over the carbs of your you know what you're used to you know carbs hold water you're gonna be holding a lot more water it doesn't necessarily you're gonna be bloated but you could be like you could fill up your glycogen stores um, so that you could be heavier that way keep in mind that you did go out and you did all of this stuff you have to be honest with yourself you can't just be like oh I didn't lose any weight yeah well you went to Cheesecake Factory and you had a whole thing of bread and you had a whole dinner and you had uh, two glasses of wine and you had cheesecake. Like, what do you think is gonna happen to the scale? That's okay, I'm not saying that that's wrong. Next day, hop back on the horse, drink some water, flush that all out of your system and you'll be okay. But, you know, people are gonna do, oh, geez. Uh, I thought I hit something, but it was a pothole. But yeah, no, this, I hope this helps you guys. And like, I hope this way of like dieting and the way of thinking of like, I messed up or things like that. I, I, I really don't like that way of thinking because, you know, it's, it's the fitness journey, the diet journey, everything is a marathon. It's not a sprint and it's not an all, all or nothing approach. That is the wrong mo mentality of like, Oh, you know, if I don't get it 100%, then it's never going to work. No, it's it's going to work. 
it's definitely gonna work. Um, but just having that, if I'm not 100%, if I don't hit my uh, cardio, if I don't hit my, I mean, slip is very important, so I'm not gonna say that, but like if I don't hit my cardio 100%, if I don't hit my lifts 100% this week, if I don't hit my diet, my macros, or anything like that this week, then it's nothing's gonna work, it's all a fail, I'm a failure. No, you're not. Look at the positives. You hit six, six times, you went to the gym, you hit three out of your four lifts, you hit two out of your three cardio sessions, you hit 18 meals out of 21 meals, I'm just keeping three meals a day just for simplicity reasons, 18 meals out of 21 throughout the week that you hit your, your macros and you were good, those are all positives. And I think that's what people need to look at when, when it comes to like dieting and stuff. It's not all or nothing approach. But that's my little gym, post gym rant plus very hungry rant. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, yeah, tomorrow is gonna be active cardio, active rest day because today we're not doing it. We're still hitting our 10,000 steps and yeah. I'm gonna be working on a recipe later today. So we'll see you guys tomorrow for another video.